Hello and welcome to the Skyward channel. Today I'm going to talk about the brand new Intel Skylake CPUs that just came out and whether or not you should upgrade to them. So from what we've all seen, the new Intel Skylake CPUs were a bit of a disappointment in terms of overall performance despite what Intel has told us within all their promotions within promoting these new CPUs. And really the performance of these new CPUs have just been a bit underwhelming. But really the biggest thing is that these new CPUs have been scratching people's heads in terms of value and whether or not you should actually upgrade to this new Intel chipset. Because the thing is, is that if you're running on a Haswell or below system, you're actually going to have to one, upgrade to DDR4 RAM, which is much more expensive than DDR3 RAM. Two, you're going to have to upgrade to a Z170 motherboard, which those are right now are a bit costly. And lastly, if you're going to be building a brand new PC using a Skylake CPU, you're actually going to have to buy a separate CPU cooler because no CPU coolers come in with these new Intel Skylake CPUs in the box. However though, this shouldn't offset you in buying these new Intel Skylake CPUs because I've done some more research and analysis in this area of CPUs and I've actually found out that these new Skylake CPUs actually perform a lot better than the previous generation of Haswell CPUs in certain areas and I'll talk about those areas right now. So first off, the first thing I want to talk about is the editing and productivity performance of these new Intel Skylake CPUs. And I'm going to be comparing the 6700K to the 4790K and many different benchmarks. So in editing performance, the 6700K performed 2.4% better than the 4790K and Cinebench R15, while in Handbrake, the 6700K performed 11% better than the 4790K. Now for the productivity area, the 6700K performed 4.8% better than the 4790K and PC Mark 8, which is basically an overall work benchmark for the PC. Now also the 6700K performed 13% better than the 4790K in WinRAR 5.21. And then lastly in Seesaw Sandra, on the cache benchmark, the 6700K performed 30% better than the 4790K. And then in the bandwidth benchmark, the 6700K performed 39% better over the 4790K. And not to mention the same sort of performance increases can be seen in the 6600K versus the 4690K. As you can see in these benchmarks right here, there's an overall increase in performance on the 6600K versus the 4690K and synthetic benchmarks. So pretty much in the synthetic benchmark area of CPUs, these new Intel Skylake CPUs have been shown to have dramatic performance increases over the previous Haswell generation of CPUs. But now let's move on to gaming benchmarks. And this is where a lot of the criticism over the new Intel Skylake CPUs have been mainly focused at. So in gaming benchmarks on a GTX 980 between the 6700K and the 4790K, the 6700K performed 1.5% worse on 3D Mark Fire Strike versus the 4790K. And on Unigen Heaven Pro 4.0, both CPUs actually tied in overall CPU performance. Now on five separate games, which were GTA 5, Battlefield 4, Tomb Raider, Witcher 3, and Crisis 3, the 6700K actually performed 3.2% worse over the 4790K in those five games all running at 1080p. But however, the 6600K actually performed 6% better over the 4690K in those same five games running at 1080p. So now we come down to whether or not you should upgrade to Skylake. So if you are an editor or a worker on your PC and you just need a faster CPU for editing your videos or doing productive work and you are on say a Haswell to Sandy Bridge CPU or if you don't want to upgrade to one of the new Haswell E CPUs that are super expensive then this new Skylake option may be worth it because that DDR4 RAM will be helpful especially considering that you can now have 64 gigabytes of RAM on the Skylake chipset versus 32 gigabytes on the Haswell chipset. So if you are an editor and you want a faster editing CPU or if you're a worker and you want a more productive CPU then Skylake is the way to go. But now if you are a gamer and you are running on a Haswell to Ivy Bridge i5, i7, or i3, I recommend staying on that CPU because the performance gains on Skylake are not worth it, especially with the money in order to upgrade to Skylake. However, if you are on a Sandy Bridge CPU or if you're on an AMD FX 8350 or 6300, then it might be worth upgrading to Skylake if you have the money for it because the jump to DDR4 RAM will be nice and you'll be getting an overall increase in CPU performance and gaming performance. So if you have the money and you want to upgrade your CPU and you're on either an Ascendi Bridge or an AMD FX CPU, then it might be worth your money in order to upgrade to Skylake. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that. And this is the Skyvolt Channel signing out.